I first heard about Death House maybe about three or four years ago when I did an interview with the then attached director to the film. Uh, since then, a new director has come on and a new screenplay has been uh, developed based on uh, Gunnar Hansen of Texas Chainsaw Massacre fame. It's a screenplay uh, that he had written before he uh, passed away. And um, now here we are in uh, 2016, and uh, the... Uh, the trailer, the first Red Band trailer for Death House has just been dropped. So I've been very curious to see what this is going to look like. This is basically described as, as I said, the Expendables of Horror because it features numerous icons of the horror genre. Now, we're, we're talking multitudes of icons of the horror genre. So uh, let's see what kind of insanity is uh, going to be uh, laid out before us in this uh, Red Band trailer. The Death House, established in 1954 under the Eisenhower administration, serves as a federal maximum Kinda reminds you of Escape from New York with that narration. Medical, psychological, and parapsychological research center. Agent Novak, meet your fellow graduate, Agent Tori Boone. Welcome to Death House. Does it live up to what you study? Ask me again in 12 hours. Some are dosed with just LSD, while others are subjected to electroshock, sensory deprivation, all to break down the subject's personality. Barbara Crampton. <laughs> They've got some surprises waiting for you and your girl so, hey. here. Our goal is to eradicate evil. I will fuck you in hell. <laughs> Kane Did Hodder. Zeke ever mention Death House to you? Ever any talk of the five evils? Oh, what was I that? know this house is insane. Are you guys VR? And I know that you have to be careful. That was D. Wallace. Don't you have something special lined up to kill everybody inside this hellhole? Tell me you're both armed. What about the five evils? Tony Todd, you know something. I know everything, Novak. Red man! We gotta find a way up. I am immortal. We need to get out of here. I will follow you to hell. The way out is not that way. I'm Vernon Wells. It's is down. To them. With me. We forgot to close the elevator shaft. Hmm. Well, it's uh, kind of hard to gauge just what exactly is going on here. It's like, are they in a VR world or or something like that? I mean, with that, that shot of Barbara Crampton suddenly just going like uh, all staticky. Um, yeah, that's it's got uh, plenty of people in there based on just what they showed in the credits. But um, I'm curious to check it out. I don't, who knows how the hell this thing's going to turn out, whether it's going to be good or bad. I guess we won't know until we see it, but uh, I guess my one concern is there's just, like I said, so many people in here, it's almost going to be like they have to give uh, give each uh, actor their due in order for them to actually appear in the film. they got to have some sort of significant uh, purpose in the film, so it's almost going to be, I, I just hope the whole film is not about them just trying to fill, fulfill those needs over the uh, 90 minutes to two hours or however long this thing ends up being. So, uh, Death House. Uh, and I imagine it's coming out later this year or early next year. So if you like this trailer reaction, hit that like button below. Have you heard about the Expendables of Horror Death House? And uh, were you curious to see it? Uh, please comment below and let me know. I'm curious myself to find out. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so you can stay on top of my reviews, trailer reactions, retro reviews, and any other fun things I happen to put up on my site. So until next time, I'll see you at the movies.